this is especially important if you're someone who really rushes from the top, has a lot of tension from the top, swings over the top, gets steep and all that. You wanna have shallow, relaxed arms early and let the body motion bring that low point forward. So the drill we like to do, and it's one of my favorites, I probably did this, I don't know, with probably half of my students that I saw this past, um, maybe the past 10 people, I bet I did this four to five times because they all needed it and they all hit it better with that. So we want loose arms, loose, early and soft. One, two, three, add some turn to it. Thanks to Collars & Co for sponsoring today's video. Listen guys, I've tried a lot of different golf shirts over my life. One of the issues I've always had is collars. The collars of the shirts that I wear that are flimsy, that are up and down. I just don't like the feel of them. What's so innovative about Collars & Co is they combine a dress shirt right, button down top and collar with a very cool performance polo that you could wear not only at work during the day, maybe throw a sweater or jacket on that looks really sharp and fits well, but you could take that off and then also just take this right to the golf course. They're made with a four-way stretch polyester, which is breathable, durable, and offers a full range of mobility. The best part is that they're machine washable. You can iron them too, but because they're wrinkle resistant, we don't need to worry about doing that often. Something really cool about Collars & Co is they were even featured on Shark Tank. Collars & Co is offering 15% off any order. We'll put the link in the description down below. Just use code Cogorno, my last name, C-O-G-O-R-N-O, -O, when you check out to get that discount. All right, guys, in today's video, I wanna give you a feel and a drill on how to start the downswing with your arms that I think is gonna really help you get the club beautifully on plane, hit the ball more solid and control the distance and direction like I did with several of my students recently. I used the same exact feel and drill on. I get asked often, Eric, when I start the downswing, what am I supposed to feel and do with my arms? And one of my students asked that recently, and I sort of explained this to him, and hopefully it'll help you here as well. If we look at how the arms start the downswing and we remove the component of what the body does, so if this was like a fake pretend swing and it was all arms, no body to start down, the arms would go down and back slightly towards my right hip or my right pocket. They would go down and back slightly. They certainly wouldn't go up and they wouldn't go out at all. They would go down and back. Now, of course, we don't make a swing without our body. Uh, our body's gonna turn on the way forward and so when we look at a normal swing, like we'll put some images of Adam Scott, and we look at where he gets at the top of the swing, and we draw some lines when he comes down, when we combine the arms and the body, it's still a lot more down than it is out, isn't it? If you look at the arrow, like the down arrow goes way farther down, and the out arrow is pretty, pretty minimal. So it's still, it might be, heck, it might be 80% down, 20% out. But the point being, the part that the arms control the arms control the downward component, right? And some of the shallowing of the arms and club. And then when I do that and kick in my body motions, that then gets the club head back out to the golf ball. I've got the benefit of the arms and club being shallow with the benefit of the body motion to get my low point forward, hit it solid, create speed, etc. What I don't want to have happen is the arms, hands, club be going out this way. I want the arms, again, no body motion, they'd go like this. And so I gave him a drill I'm gonna give you in a, in a moment, but I just wanted to explain to him as well, if we look at the trail arm, when that happens, there's really three key motions that the trail arm does from the top of the swing. The arm's some amount bent at the top, let's call it 90 degrees. Part one, the arm is gonna straighten. So how the arm goes up on the way back is primarily because it folds. How it goes down is because it straightens. That's part one, straightening of the arm. Part two is it's gonna lower. So think about the bicep and elbow going down towards the ground slightly. So it's gonna straighten. It's also gonna lower and it's gonna unhinge some. So how I get the club down like this, right? If I had like a hammer like this is straightening the arm, lowering the arm and unhinging the arm. And just like I'm doing this motion here, if this is my golf ball, I'd be doing those if there was no body down and back over here. If the ball's 12, one, two, three, this is probably on about four o'clock. I'd be doing it back over here. Boom, boom, boom. 
And this is especially important if you're someone who really rushes from the top, has a lot of tension from the top, swings over the top, gets steep and all that. You wanna have shallow, relaxed arms early and let the body motion bring that low point forward. So the drill we like to do, and this is one of my favorites, I probably did this, I don't know, with probably half of my students that I saw this past, um, maybe the past 10 people, I bet I did this four to five times because they all needed it and they all hit it better with that. So from here, we're gonna take, I've got a seven iron. We'll go up to the top of the swing, you know, full body turn, and with your arms only, no body, feel like the arms drop, the club drops, and you're gonna actually get the club to hit the ground back here, pretty close to in line with my ankle, a couple feet back from my ankle. So all the students had to do the same way, up to the top, down, one, down, two, down, three. Now as I'm gonna do the down part, now I'm gonna turn my body and shift my weight, and that's what brings the club forward. So the arms are responsible for the lowering and the shallowing. The body shifting and turning is responsible for the low point turning more forward. And so I like to combine those feels where the arms are dropping. And again, how are they dropping? The right arm's straightening. The right arm is lowering. And it's unhinging. Those are specifically the three. Down here to the ground down here to the ground, now shift and turn with it. And there's my downswing. So the arms when I'm doing that are feeling very relaxed and very passive. They're, to get down to here, they're not pulling down, they're not pushing out, they're falling down. They're falling down. They're falling down with a turn. Falling soft arms with a shift and a turn. So I'm gonna feel that same thing as I hit here. And just like that one, and those players that I work with, very solid content. Again, especially good. All the players that I gave this to really were gripping the handle tight in transition, pulling down really hard, poor contact, a lot of tension, tired after they're hitting balls, um, and poor contact. So we want loose arms, loose, early, and soft. One, two, three. Add some turn to it. Again, no body, it would go like this. No body would go like that. With the body then, it's still going down more than out, but then it's gonna come right beautifully on plane into the golf ball. Okay, so same feel, soft arms early dropping. I'm gonna add some turn. And one of the big things when you're doing this, especially if you're someone who you know, gets the arms, hands, club coming steep and out early, is really being patient Slow, feeling like it's you're slowing down here early. Feeling like you're slowing down here early. Slowing down here early. Get the club down. Get the club. Notice my arms and club are staying in. The shaft is behind my shoulder, right? I'm getting all these things for free and then adding in the turn component. Yeah, beauty. And so that's a really general feel that I like for most golfers. Of course, you know, Let's say that applies to eight out of 10 of you. Two out of 10 golfers, I see the arms are already too deep. You hit pushes and hooks and you don't have enough turn. You can still feel the same thing, but you gotta feel more of the turning component, more of the opening. So you're certainly not feeling like the arms are going back and down. And listen, the arm's dropping, because a couple of my students asked me, am I supposed to feel that consciously or is that supposed to just happen? And the answer is, if it's not just happening, then you do need to feel it consciously. If it's not in there, it's not gonna magically appear, you have to feel that in. That means you feel the arms soft, staying in and falling, and you use your body turn, right, to get the low point more forward. So if you're hitting, you know, let's say pulls and fades, you wanna really allow the arms to feel like they stay in this way, and then you can exaggerate that feel for the early part of the downswing. Now, of course, if you're on the other end of the spectrum, you can still feel the arms soft and falling, but you wanna feel more of the turning component. We'll do one more, I really like this one a lot. Up to here and again, what's responsible for the lowering, the arm straightens, lowers, and unhinges. Down to the ground, you know, say a little over a foot in line with my ankle. Feeling like no body, all arms and hands, and then combining that with a little bit of a turn. Grip pressure is fairly soft for me. Arms are relaxed. I'm going to feel that same motion when I start down. 
and just add a little bit of a turn to it. And I know, listen, like I get the hands are moving the fastest, like someone's gonna comment the hands, or don't the hands move the fastest when they start early? Yes, but it doesn't mean you're supposed to feel that they start the fastest. They're gonna start the fastest no matter what. Right? We did those videos with Trevor, 30 miles an hour, five miles an hour. We wanna slow those down a little bit. So give it a shot again, depending upon which end of the spectrum you're coming from. If you hit pulls and fades, you can feel like the arms stay in and the club lowers and soft a lot. If you hit push and hooks, you wanna feel more of the turning piece, but allow the arms to help shallow it soft and use the turning pieces. Of course, for me to say to you specifically, hey, this will solve your problem, or this is what you need to solve your problem. I have to see your swing. My golf career, if we had like a little chart here, skyrocketed once I got coaching, accountability, and a plan from a really good coach, and all of our students, the same thing happens for. Right, the before and afters we get on coronagolf.com are awesome, and I urge you to send your swings in so we can look at your swing and say, okay, hey, these are the faults that are causing you issues, clearly. These are the drills and feels we need to do, this amount of reps, here's when we move on to part two, hold you accountable the whole way, it's exactly what you need to take your game to the next level. Put the link to coronagolf.com down below. Any questions on any of this stuff, leave a comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching.